A quick heads up before we get started, this episode is a little sadder than most of our episodes. It talks about grief and loss. You might have some strong feelings when you listen. Okay, here's the episode. This is Music Blocks, a podcast about the building blocks that make up your favorite sounds, whatever you love to listen to. Many cultures use music to send off loved ones who have passed on, and funerals are not always sad events. They're an opportunity to celebrate the person who died. That's the case in Ghana, where funerals can be a time for mourners to gather and be joyful. And the music they play reflects that. Musicians might play for hours until the mourners feel their loved one has received a proper send-off. This rhythmic song is called You Can't Escape Death. On this episode of Music Blocks, how do musicians tell stories about death and loss? Get ready for some mournful musical textures, slow tempos, and layered musical arrangements. When someone dies, it's a time to reflect on how a person affected you. That can mean the good, but also the bad. In the musical Dear Evan Hansen, a family reflects on the loss of a son. Why should I play this game of pretend? His sister thinks about the bad relationship with her brother. His father is angry. I gave you the world, you threw it away. Leaving these broken pieces behind you. Everything and his mother feels heartbroken. She simply can't believe her son is gone. I hear your voice and feel you near. Within these words, I... Each family member experiences grief in their own way. The vocal arrangement of this song layers that grief to paint a full picture of how complicated it can feel when someone dies. Why should I have a heavy heart? Why should I say I'll keep you with Many songwriters use music to celebrate a person who's died, whose memory deserves to live on. Singer and songwriter Chalino Sanchez was famous for his Corridos, a popular type of storytelling song in Mexico. In this one, he tells the story of the death of a valiente, or brave man, named Guilo Rivera. And like many corridos, it includes specific details. When and where Guilo died, his favorite gun, and how he died. Guilo was betrayed by his friends. The musical arrangement is simple and repetitive. It plays a supporting role. Guilo's story is the star. Now, here's a piece that weaves together many melodies and symphonic sounds to grapple with death. British composer Benjamin Britten wrote his War Requiem, a musical composition to honor the dead, to pay tribute to soldiers who died in World War II. The music itself is mournful and slow, and the lyrics combine a traditional Latin text with the poetry of a soldier to tell a story about the brutal realities of war. A tenor sings about how soldiers give the greatest sacrifice by laying down their lives, and in doing so, they deserve eternal peace. Then, the chorus sings a prayer in Latin to grant them rest. (laughs) 
Music can help us process confusing feelings about death or enhance a story about an inevitable part of life. Okay, we're almost finished with this episode. So take a minute and think about how you might tell a story about death through song. Would you reflect on how the loss of a loved one makes you feel? Would you celebrate their life? Talk about the pain you feel? Or maybe both? When you've thought that through, visit our website for a playlist full of stories about loss. That is at musicblockspodcast.org. For Music Blocks and Colorado Public Radio, I'm Rebecca Romberg.